Hey guys, I'm Russell Vane, and welcome back to another episode of Virtue's Last Reward. Where we last left off was we basically uh, got sent to a death trap. Um, we will try to explore the flow of the two endings here, technically. Oh, not this. Um, we're going to get this ending, and we're going to try to get this ending as well. So once we hit the one ending, we'll go backwards and try to get the other ending just to see what the results are in this particular branch. But yeah, otherwise, uh, we are sent to a death trap. Because we were tricked by Dio, who stole the, uh, darn it, Alexavir? Yeah, Alexavir. It's been a week since the la it's the last episode, so I might have forgotten a few th uh, the name almost. Uh, Alexavir was the thing that was going to be the cure for Quark, who is now in this sort of uh, crazy state if he wakes up where he wants to commit suicide, and that's not a great thing. It's a bad thing. Um... But yeah, otherwise that's where we're at, where we're just trying to save Quark, and Dio's just being an asshole, where he's just like, yeah, agree with me, or be like, please, like, take the path of ally so I can betray you kind of thing, and then basically kill my character, uh, where Sigma will end up dying because of Dio's dick move, which I'm gonna do the, the, I'll follow through with it, and then I'll go backwards, and then do the opposite. Uh, because that's the sort of idea I wanted to go through. I don't know how long it will take to get to the choice, but it's taking too much time to try to decide the choice because of the fact that the characters are still talking about stuff, which I'm just like not really that interested no more because I already know what's coming anyways, which is an imminent death or destruction of this group in any fashion or form. Uh, but who knows? I don't know. Anyways, uh, whoa. That's a lot of inf a lot of information, because uh, yeah, uh, Phi was checking out the journal. Forgot about that. We were just at the point where she was checking out the journal and finding information about Radical Six and what's happening outside. Now we know what the virus does to you, though. You get infected. Your brain slows down by the root of one sixth. That's what about forty percent. Yeah, you're right. That would explain why Quark was, well, trying to kill himself. Hmm. <laughs> what am I supposed to make of it? Maybe they just hadn't found one when this journal was written. I mean, from what we know, there's a drug called Al Axelavir that cures it. Yeah, Ax Axelavir. Yeah, because I was like... Uh, yeah, I, I think I mispronounced the name technically. Sorry, I just saw a message. Um, anyways... Yeah, I don't know. It's just kind of thinking about how this would, like, how does this journal play? Like, when did this journal get written was kind of the big question, I feel like. But I don't know if it's written before we got entered into here, or maybe, like, much more further past it, maybe? Hmm. Hold on a second. I'm getting confused. When when was this thing even written? Uh, imagine it was written by. Uh, imagine Sigma wrote that journal in actuality. Like he's the one who examined the whole thing, but he just forgot all about it. <laughs> Damn. Well, there's no way it was written this year. Well, つ目は地下シェルターの件についてだ。例の新聞記事は感染者の隔離について言及していた。そこで我々はもしかしたらここがその隔離施設なのでは、そんな疑念を抱いたわけだが、この日記の記述はそれとは真逆の可能性について示
since we went through playthrough one, we haven't finished playthrough one, of course, uh, because it was to be continued. Um, the weirdness is finding this journal and like having this journal tell us the opposite of what's going on outside, where it's like everything outside is dead and cannot be recovered. Yet we're here in this place to to to, to survive the long last or or as long as we can, like last as long as we can. But then it's like contradictory so many places, like from Zero being like a very threatening character to this journal saying outside is bad, inside is good, to the newspaper saying inside is bad, but outside is good, or inside like in terms of like this sort of small little thing becoming a global bad kind of thing. It's just too many like contradictions and I just don't like that. It just confuses people I feel like. The story just takes it all over the place. I mean, I get it. It's trying to make a threat to us and try to piece things together like a mystery, but it's like... When you have too many elements of like contradictory f facts and information, you don't know what's really true. Unless that's the purpose, it's just to confuse the, the player, reader, as much as they can. It just feels really hard to kind of like flow through the story a bit to understand the, the facts of what's real and what's not. <laughs> You're trying to say this place might be one of those underground shelters? Which would mean we're all supposed to be uninfected? We would have been thrown in here to, to keep us safe. But Quark's been infected, right? Yeah, we never knew how Radical 6 gets spread. But... My best bet is it's infected by uh, infection by airborne, like it's like breathed onto the same room of people, or somebody injected him like in the middle of somewhere. That would be bad. Yeah, we could also have been isolated. For really, really many years. So, <laughs> Like that one treatment room that we saw in the last, the, the first playthrough, where it's like people could be frozen in place, but then there's only like pods of three, which is not gonna fit nine people. <laughs> And then once the an antiviral treatment was finished, they woke us up? No, that doesn't make any sense. I mean, it seems like a pretty plausible scenario, but we were all captured before the pandemic started, right? And how would they know... How would they have put us to sleep for that long? How would they have known to do that? But most importantly, why the hell are we playing the Nonary game if the point of this place is to save us? Throwing a bunch of people into a game that might kill them is pretty weird. Uh, is a pretty weird way to protect them from a pandemic. Yeah, because I think the game is already contradictory to all the facts we're getting, so... There's most likely a fact that Radical 6 is a thing, but it's Radical 6 is like an experimental uh, experimental virus that's being tested on us, rather. And that we're trying to get out of it so we can figure out, like... Oh, no, no, we're trying to get out of this place to not just survive it, but also to show who's causing it at the same time like there's like i feel like zero escape 999 the first game had a point to what we were supposed to do which is save people or save someone but in the in the same vein of like the medical pseudoscience kind of way this on the other hand is not feeling like that it's more like we're trying to solve a problem but the only way to solve this problem is to figure out what is the pathway out correctly kind of thing 
Like, what is the, the scenario to save us all kind of situation? See? とにかく新聞と日記だけでは情報が足りないな。他にも何か手がかりがないか探してみよう。ファイアルリーフィニッシュスピーキングビフォーシュトゥクオフフォーザマジェンタドア。ん。へい、ウェンチュカミングトゥ
And, yeah, I plan on, like, just uh, allying just to sacrifice myself to see what happens. I mean, I'm not surprised if at the end of it, Dio would be more of a more of an asshole than he is by literally drinking the Axelivir, like, right on the spot just to do us in because of the fact that he was never intending to give that medicine to Quark just to save himself. And I wouldn't be surprised if, surprised if Dio ended up that way because <laughs> Dio seems like the type of guy who would rather, like, do things for his own good versus for others like he's the self he's the most selfish character in this whole group but i also think that there's something wrong with deal in a sense like i feel like deal has a sense of problems that never like corrected himself i don't know like i feel like he has a background in involving himself to this whole like medical stuff something like akin to uh ace where ace was like the, the president of the whole thing so i feel like deal is probably one of those type of people maybe if if the developers give deal a tragic backstory which we only heard hints of like deal being like just a circus person uh a ringleader to the circus like if he has a tragic backstory i'd kind of care less i think because it's like what is he going to like what what is he trying to save himself for like that's the problem is like what's like does he have like a family uh out of outside of this like vicinity is he potentially maybe zero maybe like it could be the fa the, the fact that he is zero in disguise and he's just there to just screw everybody over because he wants to screw everybody over because that's his intent is that he, he although he for forgot of who he is he might just be pretending to be zero just for the for the heck of it, I guess. Like, he's pretending not to be zero to be to, for the heck of it. What about you? Oh, so then the people who are voting is probably just me and Dio. Like, our group and Dio. Because if Temioji and... Uh, if Temioji and Quark are not voting... Then it leaves. I don't remember if Temioji is paired up with someone, but I think his pairing would be the one to decide. Well, Quark doesn't ever get to decide, so it's just a full-on ally, anyways. But Temioji Oh, okay. So yeah, then that means Temioji and Quark are both considered ally by default because if you don't vote, you just default it. Yeah. He doesn't need to vote, honestly. So I know that. Yep. Uh, what are you going to do if K and Alice vote betray? Hmm. Well, he does have points. He has six points. Yeah. Even if they betray, Alice will survive. Temioji will just lose, like, what, two points, which is four. Alice would just get, like, at best three, which just evens out for Temioji, while K is, like, nine, basically. So K could leave at any point. Yeah, then he would kill Alice, yeah. Yeah, because Tenmyoji's mind was made up. Trying to persuade him to leave would, that would have been pointless. Alright. Hi. Take care of Quark. Hi. Let's go. Ikimashu. Luna and I headed out of the inform infirmary, leaving Tenmyoji and Quark behind. So that means that the only people who are actually getting any votes in is just my group, Clover and I, and uh, Clover and I and Dio. 
I personally feel like it's gonna be the worst ending because Dio's gonna try to probably mess up with K. Like, I feel like he's gonna try to mess with K. Because K has nine points by the time that he votes Betray, even then, to escape. But I'm pretty sure that they're probably gonna be nice. Like, Alice and K are probably gonna be nice about it a little bit, maybe. I might be wrong, obviously. Uh, I, but I don't feel like K has that desperate need of being, like, at nine points. He doesn't feel like... I don't feel like he would want that. If anything, I think Dio's the only one who's gonna be the one who escapes, and everyone gets stuck behind, I bet. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. I would not be surprised. When we got to the warehouse, we found everyone else waiting for us. Here we go, Clover. It's time for me to die. Well, not quite everyone. One other, one other person was missing. Hey, where's Dio? AB room no door. See, I can see. He's already... They're all closed. When we came in here before, the one on the far right was open. He went in there before all of us? That he went in, I guess. That bastard. He'd probably been worried I might try and take the axillavir from him by force, so he'd hidden himself in the AB room. What a coward. I've made my mind up to choose ally, no matter what, but a part of me had s still considered trying to jump Dio if he dropped his guard. Now he made sure I wouldn't get the chance to try. Yeah, Luna's gonna explain it. Luna explained Tenmyoji's choice. So, and same goes for uh, Quark, who's also solo, I think. Yeah, if she does, if we don't mind knowing, getting to know, because eventually we'll know anyways. Okay, well, I might not see it, so we'll see. Yeah. Then K could get out and, like, Look for help, maybe, but. Eh, so. Tenmyoji san ga kyoryok de kakte shite iru ijo. Kochi wa uragiri wa dase nai wa? Naze nara, so na koto shita ra K no BP ga Q ni natcha kara. Yeah, and then K can get out. De, desu ga, moshi mo K san ga AB room no naka de kyoukou shudan ni itte tara. Ha 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 ha. Go anshin kudasai. Watashi wa, so no yona sobou na mane wa itashimasen. I mean, we never know. At this point, I'm like, I'm, I'm skeptical about anything. Like, I don't, I don't see this, the writing, ever not trying to do something to twist it every time. So far, it's been like twist after twist. Maybe it's a coincidence that I'm just like bumping into all the choices that are becoming like unexpected choices. Like earlier when we decided for the, um, the betray and ally stuff. Like I thought those things were going to be like you know similar to what we did in the first playthrough, but wow, it was like opposite of almost all my choices that I chose and so I'm kind of like I'm like even though I I personally think that like I have like the choices that I choose that I think personally would benefit everyone it obviously always comes down to uh, the game needing bad endings like lots of them apparently <laughs> this game needs I don't know, 10 bad endings or something like that, and then some neutral endings or something, and a one good ending or something. But, like, it just sucks because it's just, like... It feels like I have to think of the worst rather than the best out of the situation. I'll probably be refreshed or surprised if there is a good solution or a good uh, outcome of some of the choices, but I got none. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, you don't need to if you don't want to. If you're choosing ally, you don't need to choose. Yeah. 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 Arisa, 
I think K is actually legitimately not actually trustworthy. I think he's gonna, like, knock out Alice and choose Betray. K continued briskly toward the AB, AB room as he simply hadn't heard Phi. Alice scrambled to follow him, perhaps concerned that he would lock her out. Only seconds later, they disappeared into the third room from the left. I don't trust it. Good, we don't have to freaking decide for too long. Wait, but why? Literally, Quirk is gonna ally anyways. He's forced to ally. They headed off as at a trot toward the second room from the right, and they were soon out of sight inside it. Alright, Clover, time for us to go. I sighed to myself and headed toward the leftmost AB room. Are we gonna find another dead body randomly? <laughs> Namadex room game will now begin. Press enter to cast your vote. Once you enter the vote, blah blah blah. Yeah, the door will close once you press start. I get it. I don't really have a choice, do I? There's only one thing I can do. I'm going to choose ally. Ah, don't worry about it. Forget about it. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> well, you never know. Just because Dio told us to ally doesn't necessarily mean he's going to pick Betray. Come on, Sigma. How stupidly, how how naive do you think you are to believe that Dio wouldn't betray you? If it if it's a twist at a point where he actually allies, I'd be surprised. But I don't think he's gonna ever ally. Like I think that his his personality his sort of like thinking is all going to always be betray like he's never gonna choose he, he would want to stay up ahead just so he can get out first like he doesn't give a crap about what this group is he just wants to get out himself like you can see all the times where he's been yelling at the freaking like zero rabbit the rabbit zero and like you kind of should expect that he's not going to just give it up so lightly so it's like you can't really do much so and your point? Well, we have to give him what we want what he wants, right? So he can die. I think he's he will probably fall victim to some problems after he gets nine points anyways. Or screw the group all, all over, I guess. Well, what about you? You've got 6 BP too, right? If Dio chose ally, and we chose betray, then you, you'd have 9 BP. I hate how Sigma's thinking, because he thinks that, he, he thinks that, like, Clover can get out. Like, that's not the point. <laughs> We're talking about Dio here. We're not talking about some unknown anomaly we're not talking about like somebody like ten miyoji who was just like a wild card ten, ten miyoji's choice earlier was literally a wild card to me honestly like he could have either chose betray or ally he i wouldn't even bat an eye about it but freaking deal deal is already a freaking thing that's jammed into the freaking like negative zone he's like he's never going to ever be a like a a good person unless unless uh quirk was there to like literally forced them into it but he never had that choice or never had that chance like the first playthrough was because he was about to kill luna or try to push luna down as well uh so it's like i'm not surprised if that's the case but i don't know i don't think deal is a good person i always don't think so anyways
and I'm trying to tell you that I've made up my mind. That's who I am. The only choice is Ally. It's the only chance we get to have to get that medicine back. <laughs> Why are we bringing back the IG? Yeah, I don't think he's going to give us the ex Olivier either. I, that's why I'm saying it's a lose-lose situation. Even if we chose Ally, he probably might not give us the medicine anyway since shatters that medicine on top of that. Maybe he won't. But I can guarantee that he'll destroy it if I choose Betray. That's who he is. Yeah, it's a lose-lose situation, Clover. I'm sorry. We're already at this deadlock that's like no choice but to die or get screwed. Like, it's either to die or get screwed. Either ways. We're screwed. <laughs> huh? <laughs> She's doing it? So that means I don't have a full-blown choice? Let me see. Yeah, we're at a point where we're at a choice. But how the hell are we not going to be choosing it? Before I realized what was going on, Clover ducked a bit past me and ran towards the voting machine. Oh no. No. Stop. Chotomate. Yamaru. I snatched her by the arm and hold backwards with my with all my strength. Ooh. What? Damn. Oh man, I I I wouldn't want to do that to Clover, but she forced it onto to Sigma to just drag her down. S sorry, Gomenasai. Guess that was a little too hard, huh? I'm sorry. Like literally, it's like you didn't even give me a choice either. Well, you're the one who tried to pick. Who tried to trick me? I don't care anymore. Clover, I'm. I don't want to be the pessimistic guy here, but I, I literally say that, like, all my options have run out, basically, because they're all lose lose. There's no such thing as a win win for anyone here. <laughs> It's always going to be a win for Dio, no matter what. Because Dio gets what he wants, no matter what. Alright, here we go. Arigato. Thanks. It means a lot to hear you say that, Clover. I gave her my best reassuring nod and turned to face the polling machine. Time to go to die! <laughs> I'm sorry, I kinda know, like, I don't want to be pessimistic. Alright, here we go. Let's see the bad ending. Yeah, it doesn't show us what the which ending we're getting, but we're I think once we exit it's gonna be the ending. Yeah, we're over time, I think. Yeah, we're out of time. But let me go a little bit more and then yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna come back around here later on, uh, in the next episode maybe, to see what the other ending looks like, but um, for now we'll stick with Betray and then see. And see the results here first. I am not gonna be surprised if Sigma dies, and I would not be surprised if uh, Dio literally takes the nine points and leaves with the medicine. Or breaks the medicine right as he leaves or something. Time for me to go down. Alright. This is where we'll end it, sadly enough. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> it's a long path? What? <laughs> I'm wondering what kind of choice they gave us here. 
What the heck? Okay. I, I was expecting to go to the right, and it would just be like a, a novel, or like, what was it called? Yeah, novel. Um, I was expecting it to go to the right. I'm expecting it to go this way. These two ways. But instead it didn't, which is kind of fascinating, honestly. I, I, I guess we're living a little longer in this ending, I guess. I, I don't know. It's kind of weird to me. But anyways, we're ending in the episode anyways. Uh, that was like the last page of saves. Okay. We're gonna save all the way at page one again. Yes. Alright. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. And if you mind, so you guys have a great, amazing day. We can night to one of watching this. Next episode, let's go ahead and see where this leads us. We're gonna go to this whole ending, and then I'm gonna rewind back to that choice of betray an ally on this particular path of playthrough one, uh, playthrough two, and then um, see what the other ending looks like, and then we'll go all the way back up to the very top to choose the other door, which will take us to the lounge, which is the other thing, the other puzzles lounge, the puzzle space that we haven't unlocked yet. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Roz.